Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm in Estes Parks, gonna fish one of the lakes up here. It's a beautiful day. Unfortunately, it's a little bit breezy. Hopefully it doesn't impact fishing too much. Uh, obviously it's beautiful up here. Uh, all kinds of fun things to do, especially in the town of Estes, as well as if you're into outdoorsy events. But uh, yeah, to my knowledge, there's mainly trout in this lake. I did talk to a few locals. They do say uh, supposedly some, um, what do they call that? Uh, musky as well in here. And then uh, I'm gonna mix it up on a few different lures. Yesterday I tried the uh, Big Thompson River and found out that the spot that I was fishing at was heavily uh, targeted and the fish were easily spooked. So hopefully I'm gonna have su success out here at the lake and I'll keep you guys posted on how things go. Okay guys, I actually caught something unexpected. This is a perch. I caught him on um, a floating Rapala, believe it or not. I didn't even know there's perch out here. Uh, just a little baby perch, but it's still, they're a cool fish. You know, it's uh, part of the walleye family. So they taste a lot like walleye. Let's see if I can get this guy off without injuring him too much. Oh. So this is why I love these nets because you can grab the fish, have a good firm hold on the fish, and get your hooks out pretty easy. Okay. Uh, Okay, everybody, sorry that was uh, not the best footage, but the fish will be fine. It just swam away right there. It's a little sh shaken up, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, I didn't know there was perch in here. Kind of funny, I didn't think it would go after a, a Rapala roughly one and a half times the size of the fish itself. But uh, yeah, there you go. I just caught my first fish using a floating Rapala that was looking like a rainbow because that's what I'm expecting to catch in here rainbow not perch and this is what I was using just nice and slow presentation got some great colors on it to grab the attention of the fish so uh, I'll keep you guys posted okay guys I think I got a big one this one's putting up a fight yes it is definitely a big fish it didn't even feel like a fish. It kind of felt like a snag on the rock. I do not know what this is, but it's putting up a fight. This is amazing. So I'm using a floating Rapala and it's pulling. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God, what this, what could this be? Wow, this one's putting up a fight. I don't want to pull too hard on the line because it's definitely strong enough to snap the line. Oh my God, this is amazing. So earlier I caught a, I caught a, um, wow, this thing is putting up a fight. So I caught a, a perch. So that's why I switched to a lure that represents a perch. I'm, I'm purposely not trying to fight this fish too hard. Cause I, I don't know if it has enough strength to break my line. I'm only using a six pound test. And uh, as I mentioned, just trying to wear them out, tire them out a little bit. Oh my God, this feels like a strong fish. 
Look at that, just putting up a fight, pulling on my line. This is awesome. I don't know what kind of fish this is, but I'm definitely excited to see. It's a good sized fish, holy cow. Oh, I snagged him. Oh, that looks like a carp. That's why I got him. I'm gonna try to get him up on. I've never caught a carp before in my whole life. So this is a first for me. And this is what it looks like right there. Wow, that's a good sized fish. Okay, I got him out safely. He'll he'll be alive. He'll be fine. Wow, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, it's not a fish I normally ever try to go after, but I'm going to try to get him back in the water nice. Yeah, he's fine. He's just swimming away. A little tired, that's for sure. That is cool. Never caught a carp before, especially on a lure. Granted, I snagged him on the top of his uh, fin, but uh, that was fun. Okay, guys, uh, this is definitely not a large fish by any means. It did grab on the floating Rapala uh, minnow style. Earlier, I caught another perch, but I didn't show it to you guys on video because it was small too. Uh, this looks like a rainbow as well. Um, it's amazing because this lake, they've been very active on lures and usually it's harder to catch a fish on a lure, but, uh, this will probably go down as the smallest trout I catch for the year. But needless to say, a fish is a fish. Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is a brook trout. It's a very small brook trout, but you can see by the coloration, it's a beautiful fish. Okay, everybody, so today's fishing in Estes Park was fun. I, uh, I caught my first carp, and that was a big fish. Uh, I caught that by accident, I guess, because it got it in the back of the fin. And then I also caught, I said a brook trout, but it was actually a brown trout. I had to Google it, the ones with the red dots in them. I rarely ever catch a fish like that. And of course it was pretty small. You probably could tell by the video footage. And then I caught, I want to say it was a total of four uh, perch. And the biggest one was the only one I actually ha had on camera. The others were just, they were really small. But it was amazing to come up here. The scenery is beautiful. Uh, plenty of wild elk and uh, deer, and it's just a great place to come up to. So I wanna say thank you again for staying tuned for another episode of Outdoor Fun in Colorado. I'm gonna have more videos for you guys in the future, both hiking as well as fishing. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you, everyone.